Hi, this is Jason from Effective Dashboards, helping maintenance and reliability professionals get the most out of Power BI. So welcome back to another video. In this video, we're going to be revisiting the multi-row card. And I'm going to be explaining how you can create these neat little conditional formatting indicators for based on threshold values for each of these different categories here. So safety, environment, production and routine. Okay, so let's crack on. So a few months ago, I created a video on the multi-row card and I explained how to configure it, how to set it up, and the different options that you could use for displaying some um, some measures. In this example here, we've got this um, bat log and we've got the bat log split by safety, environment, production and routine, which are the different categories. Now, one of the limitations, a fairly severe limitation in my view, and I also created another video explaining that limitation, is the the conditional formatting. Okay, so let me just explain it as a recap really quickly because I think it's important for this video here. So we can see we've got these red colours here, this conditional formatting has been applied. Now the conditional formatting rules that are in place here are attached to this label. And if I go in here, what we've got is if the value is greater than or equal to a zero or less than 30, then I want it to be black. And if it's greater than or equal to 30 and less than the max, I want it to be red. So my um, my expectation is that this would be black and the rest of them would be red because they're above 30. Um, however, that's not the case. What it actually does is it conditionally formats these labels based not on the 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 actual value for each category, but it's based on the total value. Okay, so if I go and change this, that's a total value here, 745. If I go and change that and make that, um, so they 746 and 746, we can see that everything's turned black. Okay, so it's actually conditionally formatting all of the labels based on the total value, which is really not what we need for this type of situation. We want to basically be able to highlight each one of these if it goes above a certain threshold. Okay, so how do we go and solve this? Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk you through a solution. So um, what I've done is I've created a measure and this measure is called backlog count text with indicator, okay? So I'll just make it slightly bigger so you can see it. And the the kind of the whole ethos behind it really is that rather than show a value as a measure, we're showing a text string as a measure or as a as a measure that's going to be displayed in this multi row card. Now it doesn't make any difference to the outcome um, in terms of, of the display, but if it's a text string, then we've got the capability to add extra characters to that text string and that's exactly what we're going to do. So what I've done is I've first of all selected the criticality. So I've used this this um, function here, selected value, uh, work order, criticality, description. Okay, so what it's going to do is it's going to go and basically take a, or, or retrieve the selected value in the particular row for the particular filter context here. Okay, so for each one of these, it's going to get the selected value. So it'll be safety, it'll be environment, it'll be production or a product, it'll be routine. So that's the first thing we're going to do. The second thing it's going to do is it's going to use this threat, this variable here, threshold selector, to determine for the selected value what the actual threshold value is going to be that we want to apply the conditional formatting to or build the string based around. So we can see if a selected criticality is safety, then we want the value to be zero. If it's envido, we want the value to be um, zero as well. And if it's production, it's 300. And if it's routine, it's 500. So this gives us the added benefit of being able to specify a threshold value for each of the different categories that are going to be displayed in the multi row card. So then we go and look at the result. So the result is using a switch statement and um, the same as a switch statement here. And basically what we're, we're doing is we're going to check the backlog count and if it's greater than the threshold selector value, so whatever this value is here, then we're going to construct this string and it's going to consist of this highlight symbol and then these ampersand 
um, a bracket in between, so it's going to add a space between that, and then we're going to add in the battle count. Okay. Now, if it's not bigger than the threshold selector, then we're just going to display the battle count. Okay. So that's going to be basically the um, the measure that we're going to use to add into the multi row card. So let's go and add that in. Before we do, let's go and look at this highlight symbol. So all I've done in this highlight symbol is basically use this unichar code here and that unichar code is the code number, that number there is the the code for this symbol here okay so it's a code for this symbol here so let's see go back into our card and we're going to replace this bat load count with the the new measure which is bat load count text with indicator in fact i'm going to add both of them in and just make that we can delete that and we can make it slightly bigger so now what we can see is that We've got a text string with this value here added to the front of it, or prefixed, and then the actual battle count. Okay, if it happens to be above the threshold value, which what for safety was zero, and for the envido was zero, so it's twenty-six and, and it's um, it's fifty-six. Um, now for the bat log, it just displays the actual value which is 267 or 278 because the threshold value here was 300 and the threshold value here was 400. So that is really really the the crux of it. So it allows you to quickly and easily construct a measure that you can use to apply some um, to, to, to basically construct a string that's got this kind of conditional formatting but um, but really just using um, a uni a unichar character rather than using the standard conditional formatting. So you are limited to the colors you can use. It just so happens that there is a, a unichar symbol that is a red circle with a black outline, which is exactly what we need just to highlight and draw the attention to the fact that that safety value and the envido value are over the threshold values. Okay, so quick and simple. Hopefully you can use that in the multi row card to add some conditional formatting to specific categories. And um, you can use it in other cards as well. It's quite, a, it's quite a, a useful tool to have just to construct a string that's got this symbol in it um, as a means of drawing attention to a particular measure. Okay, so thanks for listening. If you found this video useful, then it would be much appreciated if you could give it a thumbs up. If you want to keep up to date with the latest videos, I tend to release one every week, then hit the subscribe button. And um, apart from that, I will talk to you in the next video.